Okay, so I got this 96 Ford Econoline van, but this should work on a whole lot of 90s Ford trucks and a lot of other vehicles. But if you have a lock that turns either way and no longer locks or unlocks it, it's just it's loose, you don't feel any clicking or anything, um, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. It's really easy. So I just unlocked it from the inside and opened it up because the locking lug should still work. You will have to get to the back side of the lock, so you may have to pull off the door panel, but usually on these older Fords, it's pretty easy to do. But if we look down here at the lock itself, we can see uh, nothing is attached. And there was this little uh, plastic lever that was attached to it, but you can see um, the clip right there broke. And that little plastic piece may still be attached to this uh, rod right here that moves up and down and you may have to pull it off of there. I mean, it just depends on how it broke. It could still be on the locking cylinder um, or it could also even be down here inside the door. But after you got the broken lever removed, um, you can actually find these guys on Amazon. I got like 10 of them for like $10 or so. It's kind of interesting. They have a uh, a right side and a left side version and they're color coded however this seems to be like either or or it's just like a center version put these together like this you can see um, this part goes out to different sides depending on if it's a left or right version however this one's just straight down the center um, but I don't think that'll matter. And uh, the locking lever that we're replacing uh, goes out to the left if we're looking, you know, towards the van. It depends on which way you're looking at it. However, they use this kind of design on a lot of Fords, it seems like. Um, so maybe other ones are different. I'm just going to use a left hand version and I think it should work just fine. As you can see, the clip part appears to be exactly the same. So this one was clipped on to the bottom, if I remember right. Yeah, this might be hard to do and hold the camera at the same time. But to show you guys a little bit better, I'm just going to remove it. This one is just uh, four seven millimeter bolts. And then this guy just kind of pops out of here. Door latch, uh, which I need to remove. And that little plastic piece just pops off and there's a little ball on the cable that you have to remove. So I got it out of the vehicle and pretty much all of these uh, Ford lock cylinders just have a um, metal clip that you just pull out this way and the lock goes out that way. And that's how you do it on all of the other doors. Yeah, so it is a little tricky to do in the car, but this deeper hook right here uh, should probably go first and kind of slide it in there. There we go, I think we got it. And then kind of, you know, just push it until it clips in like that. And that is pretty much it. Super simple. And of course we can try it out. And you see, now you can actually move that rod. It doesn't really matter if it's a left or right. I don't think that rod is that picky because um, it moves you know, back and forth a lot. But it just depends on uh, which Ford model you're working with. Um, some of them, that might actually matter. But as we're going back together, but you can see this rod right here. See, it moves like that, it doesn't seem to mind. Uh, it's gonna clip on right on this horizontal spot right there. And that just keeps it from sliding up and down. But I'm just gonna stick it back together and we should be able to pop that on once everything's together. All right, we got it all back together. And again, we probably could have done this uh, if I really tried um, without taking it apart. But anyways, next you could also, you know, install this part as you're installing it. But just to show you, there we go. There it goes, it just clips in and uh, to remove it, you kind of have to push these tabs down like using some pliers or something. But I was able to jam my hand in there and get it. But once it's in there, you know, it's not going to come out unless the plastic breaks. But now let's go ahead and just 
test it out. Right now it's unlocked and let's see if we can lock it. It's locked and then we can unlock it and it opens up. But anyways guys, I hope this video was useful and I'll be sure to leave links uh, to those little uh, replacement levers down below. But thanks for watching guys and I will catch you next time. Peace out.